They all want to be sworn into the White House. Well, to get there, they're hopeful that swearing will help. Here's Jeannie. This is the story of a cuss word added to the presidential campaign. With bull****. And a cuss word. So proud of you guys. Subtracted. <laughs> Beto O'Rourke swears not to publicly swear using the F word Yo. as President Trump introduces a swear word to describe investigations involving him. They're trying to take you out with bullshit, okay? <laughs> it got so much applause that the president decided to use it at his next rally, slightly embellished. You're defrauding the public with ridiculous bullshit. It even spawned its own hashtag. Many of the president's supporters are going ape over the president saying bull Amen, tweeted actress Christy Swanson. Inject the Trump directly into your veins, read another tweet. But Beto O'Rourke's even stronger curse word. And I was like, yeah, what the f I mean, we're, we're, I'm running for... Delivered with his 10-year-old daughter Molly beside him, caused a fellow Democrat to confront O'Rourke. We already have one vulgar in chief. Do we need to replace him with another? In the past, it was Ted Cruz who used an ad to attack Beto for his language. Sharing his wit. How f***ed up is that? His wisdom. <laughs> what the f*** are these guys doing? Now it's a Democratic voter. Come on, Beto, clean up your act, honestly. Yeah, no, I, great point, and I don't intend to use the F word going forward. Ah, uh, for the innocent old days when Joe Biden delivered the F bomb in a whisper. <laughs> and many of Beto's supporters think their guy dropping the F bomb is the bomb. That it shows his passion, and disarming him makes us a nation of ninnies. But these days, this is a nation in which even self-help books help themselves to expletives. Genie Mo, CNN. So proud of you guys. Ridiculous bull. New York. <laughs>